Hello everyone, today we're looking at the Toyota MR2 GTS W20. Um, this one is the solid roofed one. Um, there's also um, an unboxing video of the T-Bar version uh, on your screen now if you want to go and take a look at that. However, this one, let's go and take a look what is in the box. Now I'm expecting this to be basically the same kit. Instructions, um, as always, will be in the description. Just one thing to note. Um, they give you templates to cut out for the windows, which is nice. You don't always get that. Um, let's have a look. All moulded in red, and the body was as well. However, it has been painted. Not by me, by the way. Now, as you'll see, this is how I managed to get it so cheap. That's actually a clean cut. That thing in the middle actually comes out, but, you know... It's an easy-ish fix, just haven't you know, got around to it yet. There's your front. This has been painted matte black. Actually, it looks quite cool matte black. Paint job isn't, but... But yeah. But they did take the time to mould, uh, mould, sand the mould lines off. However, yeah, it's a bit rubbish. Now, interior bits it's already open you've still got the roof for the t-bar you know it's not going to make any difference because the roof will be covered up anyway no side windows so you'd have to add those if you wanted them which is a bit of a shame um, and then you've just got the front bits uh, the, uh, the indicators, rear lights everything's clear which is nice And it is basically the same kit, guys. Uh, no decals in this, unfortunately, but there is a shot of the decals in the other video. Again, I'll show you the wheels up. Solid rear axle on this one. There you go. No idea what I'm going to do with this. I'm going to see if I can fix it first, if not then it's a shame really. Now now this is moulded in red, it's easier for me to show you. Engine, or you know what's uh, what's there of it. Chassis. Uh, do you get two spoilers in this? Uh, no you don't. Ah, that is different then. On the other kit you get two spoilers, however this one you don't. You just get this subtle one. You get a slightly bigger one. There's the exhaust pipes and the steering column. Uh, wing mirrors, etc. Usual bits and pieces, you know, nothing e extraordinary. But And the seats, again, these are fan I love these seats, they're absolutely fantastic. And they've got the sort of texture to them as well, so they look like leather as well. steering wheel. Now, final one to show you. These are actually quite, well I wouldn't say hard kits to get, but when you, when they come up for sale they generally go for quite a bit, um, a bit more than you know other sort of kits go for, which is a shame. I'd like loads of these. Now, This one focused in for you. There's your brakes. All the same front and back. Your tub. No real detail at all, but it's all going to be covered up anyway. Uh, handbrake, um, more suspension bits, and you also get the left hand and right hand dashboard, as you do with the other kit. So yeah, um, I mean I can't mark it down for the fact that the pillar's broke and I bought it like that. Um, but I mean I gave the other kit 10 out of 10. I'm going to give this a 9. And that's 
for two reasons. A, that it's moulded in red. It's not the best plastic colour to be moulded in because you can get through and bleed through. And also, you don't get quite as many parts. Decals are irrespective. That's just because I bought a cheap kit. But like I said with the other spoiler and that. But but yeah, it's a, it's a really nice kit. I'm looking forward to building one of those. So yeah, let me know what you think, guys. Uh, if I missed anything out, let me know. And I'll see you in the next video, guys. Take it easy. Bye-bye.